Hi, in this video, I want to talk about posterior knee pain or pain behind your knees. Hi, welcome back. This is Ogun Wei, your exercise physiologist. So, um, we can have pain around the knee. So in this video, I want to just zoom into the pain that's happening behind your knee. So if we talk about uh, the knee structure, then you will understand what could be the problem that can be contributing to your posterior knee, posterior knee problem, right? So mainly um, three muscles, two very common ones, and the other one, Probably out of 30 people that I've seen, only one person has got that very special muscle uh, getting into problem. So the first one would be your hamstring group muscles. So you have your bicep femoris, you have your semi M, your semi T, right? And then the other one would be your gastrocnemius muscle. In short, we just call it gastroc. Right, and there is another one that is small and kind of in between the knee, and that's your popliteus. Not very common, but some people somehow do get that kind of problem. So, depending on what you did, it also determines which muscle can get into problem. Right, so we're gonna go into your anatomy again, and then we'll talk about what kind of things that you could have done. Um, that gives you the problem okay so this is the one I'm talking about right this is your bicep uh, femoris um, yes you can see it's called uh, bicep femoris longus okay the short okay it's just behind your longus okay how it's aligned is actually quite the same okay so this is part of your hamstring muscle and then you have your semi tendinosis okay right coming from the hip and then to the side of your knee okay and then you have your semi membranosis okay again coming from your hip and to the side of the knee okay so that forms your hamstring muscles hamstring group muscles okay a lot of people tend to forget all right but there's actually a few muscles also connected and are wrapped around <clears throat> your knee joint okay and they're actually going downwards to your uh, calf all right so the most superficial uh, muscle over here is actually your gastrocnemius okay so over here right this is your gastroc muscle okay there's the medial head and then there is the uh, lateral head okay so in the whole basically your entire gastrocnemius okay reason because it, it's actually crossing your knee joint okay and then it, it because it, it originates from there right so behind your gastrocnemius so another one is your popliteus all right so it is actually coming from the lateral side okay to the medial side all right so all right not really the medial medial but very close to the medial all right um of your uh tibia bone over here okay so you see this bone here yeah? and then you see this over here all right so that's your popliteus all right so if we talk about hamstrings um, the very common kind of hamstring related problem that can cause pain behind the knee is when um, athletes or even people outside there has got issue with the hamstring it can be weakness or it could be just strain um, and there are a lot of movements that can involve your hamstring right but we know when we do a flexion of the knee 
meaning when you try to curl your legs such that your heel is touching your buttock that is primarily the hamstrings contraction phase and when that happens your hamstrings are actually shortening to make sure that you are able to do that movement right and there's the part where your hamstring gets to work and it doesn't change in terms of its length this is what we call the isometric phase where you just hold it in that position and your hamstring is actually keeping your knees in that angle and that takes that actually works the hamstring as well so there's the part where we call it the eccentric work where your you're actually trying to slow down the movement of getting your your heels your ankle back to the position this time round your hamstring is doing the control it actually slows down the process because you don't want to just drop that is the eccentric phase of your hamstring movement right so we all 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 muscles have got these three different phase and because hamstring is one of the more powerful muscle it does work quite a bit so a lot of people when they tend to um, walk down the stairs or walk down the slopes your hamstring is actually stopping you controlling that movement and some people do feel knee pain while going down the stairs that's your hamstring and some people tend to be um, sprinting and because when we look at how we move when we sprint it is actually a lot of powerful explosive um, movements coming from the hamstring okay so that's the that's the hamstring and the other one that got involved is your gastrocnemius gastro more commonly um, doing tiptoe kind of movement or when you try to jump vertically this is the part where your calf muscle your gastro gets to work a lot uh, especially when you have especially when you have explosive movement powerful movement and when you try to toe off that's when your gastro works a lot so you only when you look at the anatomy you kind of then understand which i just showed you so you may want to go on to do some stretches first to determine that's actually the muscles giving you the problem of course if you can't find the source of the problem it's always best to go and look um, for someone professional so that they can actually help you sort out and find out what's the cause there may be more than this because now i'm just talking about muscle we know that there is things called referral pain there is things because of biomechanics which i talk a lot you won't notice it because only somebody catches you and then film it for you then you realize that you have that kind of problem so there's many many kind of problem but what i'm sharing you with with uh, with you over here is just the muscle giving you the problem okay so you may want to look more into it look deeper into it because you want if you want to understand more about your knee pain just pertaining to uh, posterior the back of the knee there are many other things that you don't want to waste out okay so that's all i have for you in this video so if you have any questions don't forget to post it in the comment section below and if you like my video don't forget to subscribe for future videos and i'll see you soon take care bye bye